it was a sunny summer day, and Diana had decided, since she had no plans for the day, she decided to go to the park where she came to sit down near a small pond and relax. Since she usually do that in the middle of summer, and since the park has a good spot to do it, and when she arrived at the park, she saw there was a lot of other, other people there, but she wouldn't mind because since it's a nice day, and since a lot of people have vacation from work or the other students had some summer break, so she didn't mind that. So when she got to the park, she found the usual spot that she found that she usually sits and. She enjoys the pond and see the ducks swimming around in the, in the water. Some other people feeding with some feeding the ducks, and she just just enjoyed sitting there. But after she had been sitting there for about maybe an hour, she decided it was getting a bit too warm, so she just thought maybe go somewhere to get something to drink or maybe an ice cream. The scene was a small ice cream shop. Not too so far from the park, so she decided to go there. And since she didn't have any other particular plans for the day, and since it was, it still was a bit a hot day, so she decided why not go home and maybe read a book or something. But as she was approaching home, she noticed this moving truck next to the house next door. She remembers that her old neighbor had moved out about almost a few weeks earlier, and she heard, her mom had told her that they were expecting a new neighbor within the next couple of weeks. She was curious, who would be moving in? If an, uh, another young couple, a uh, family of children, or maybe a single person? But none of the family, none of her family or the others in the neighborhood had no idea who would move in. There were a lot of rumors it's gonna be a single young man or it's gonna be a family of children. But no matter what the who moved in the in the neighbor house, she will at least have a new good neighbor that she could maybe enjoy to have a conversation with. But as she saw another car approached, out of it stepped a young man and she immediately felt that he was very handsome. He noticed her and he waved at her with a smile, said hello, and she walked up to him and said hello back. She asked him if he was a new neighbor, and he confirmed. And he said that his name was Cody, and her she explains her name was Deanna. And she said that she lived in the next door, and she pointed towards the house where she lived with her mom. She asked if he was a new neighbor of the house. He nods, and he said that he had just had just bought the house, and since he wanted to move to a more quiet place in the neighborhood, and even then, while they were just about to talk, when the movers called out for him, he said that he said that he was sorry I had to go, and she nods, and he said. Maybe next time we can have a bit more long conversation. She knows and said that she would like that. And later that afternoon, when her mom came home from work, she heard she saw the mover trucks and she told Diana that they supposed to knew a moving a new neighbor. Diana, who was sitting on the couch watching some TV, explained that she met the new the new neighbor, a young man by the name Cody. Her mom was, was, didn't even know exactly who was moving in when she asked Diana how old this new neighbor could have been. Diana wasn't really sure herself yet, but she thought maybe around her own age, around in his early 20s, she believes. A young man alone in his 20s as a neighbor. Her mom was really not sure. They didn't mind at all, because across the street there was another couple in their twenties. So they have a, a actually very good conversation and good relationship with the neighbors in the neighborhood. That next day, as Diana was still stepping out to, to get the mail, 
Do you notice Cody was out on the street and he was also getting mail and they just have a brief conversation. She asked him how she likes the new house for she and he said, you know, it is a little bit bigger than I expected it to be, but I'm actually enjoying to live here. It's a nice neighborhood, quiet, the neighbors are very much very polite and not a lot of loud, loud parties here. Diana chuckles and said, Yeah, but it happens that neighbors do have parties, but not as much as um, <laughs> as much as big college parties. She chuckled. He nods. I remember when I was in college. A lot of parties. Did you went to any of those parties? Uh, a few. But I prefer to be studying or just hang out with my friends in my dorm room, you know. She nods. He then asked if she went to college. But she shook her head and said she didn't have afford to go to college, but she didn't actually have enough time to go to help around afterwards. Because after high school, she had to help around her mom in the house and she started before working. And she explains that she works at this small grocery store not far from where she lives. He nods and said that's actually not a that bad idea because sometimes when we don't have, can't get to college, we have to do something in reverse. The best thing, like start working or something. Even though that was just what he could say because he realized then that he had to go inside because he has to have to sell some have things to unpack, and she nods and said, have a good morning, and perhaps they could see each other later that day, he nods and went back inside. Later that afternoon, Deanna was actually out walking in town with her mom, and they were actually just talking about some random stuff, and when the topic of Cody came up. So far, her mom had just talked to Cody briefly as well. She said that he is very polite, very young man in his age, and she nods and says like jokingly that, you know, Diana, I wouldn't surprise if Cody you would end up married one day. That made her blush and said, Mom, I barely know this guy, and he just, you know, even though he's very polite, handsome, but he's just, I don't even know him that well, and who knows, maybe he has someone already. Considering that, that he lives in a big house? <laughs> well, maybe it has, maybe not. Well, I don't know. Maybe. She said with a chuckle. And her mom laughed about it, and they just continued their day together. But as they got home, Diana's mom went inside to get the care of some things at home while Diana was still outside in the backyard. She noticed that Cody was in his backyard, just taking care of some stuff, but like throwing away some boxes or putting things in the chat or outside. He saw her, he, well, he waves, and she waved back, and even though she went through the intuitive fence and they started having a short conversation, and she asked him if he was live, if he was going to live there alone, or if he has anyone else going to live with him. He said no, he were usually that before he moved, were in a relationship with the girl for for a few months, but it didn't work out much because they were only had some fights and in the end, so he decided it wasn't worth it. And since they weren't living together, so that was a good thing. So he said because otherwise it would have been hard to find my own place. But after my, my lease ended in my apartment, then I thought, why not move into a more quiet, more, at least, peaceful neighborhood? In my old neighborhood, there was a lot of parties and uh, a lot of screamings and... And, um, she knows and understands that she has never lived in any such place before, but she knows based on what um, she has seen from movies, TV shows, and, um, she was really understanding that could be very much uh, boring and also very exhausting, especially if you're going up, going up early in the morning for school or work. He nods and said that was pretty much it. Since um, I had to also quit my job since um, 
it's um, but also very exhausted, he said. Then she asked him where he was about to work in now, because he, he has no work. But his said is actually had just started a new job, not that far from the new house, and he said it's actually working in this music store, not that far from where they ended in the downtown. She asked for the name of it, and he said the name. She realized that it wasn't that far from her job. And he was like, are you serious? She nods. Wow, what a small world. So they just start talking more and more. And suddenly, Diana's mom came out and Cody saw her and he smiled and waved. And she started talking with Cody as well. And, and then, Diana's mom asked Cody if he would like to come over for dinner. Even though Cody had a lot of stuff still to unpack, but he doesn't. He actually accepted the invitation for dinner. After all, it's a good way to start building up a new relationship between neighbors, and um, he didn't mind that. So they decided that he would come over around 5 p.m. And Deanna and her mom went back inside, and Deanna was like, Mom, I didn't expect you to invite him. Well, you know, the best way to build up a good relationship between neighbors is to be kind, maybe to offer dinner or maybe something like that, you know? Diana nods and said, well, where's for dinner, though? Her mom was actually saying lasagna, and that was not a bad choice, do you understand? So, as 5 p.m. came around and knocked on the door, animals Cody. He actually gave Diana a hug and even a hug to her mom and gave her a small box of apparently chocolate. They didn't expect this, but he said since they were kind enough to invite him for dinner, so he thought why not give her something back as a small gift. And they didn't mind it. And it turns out it was actually one of Diana's favorite chocolates. So, before dinner was even finished, Diana and Cody sat in the living room, just have the conversation, and they talked about their... mostly about their... hobbies, and what they like to do in their spare time, and... Cody explains a bit more about his childhood, that he was the only child, and that his parents are living in a different state, and that... he was actually still miss them a lot, but... And Diana said she was the only child and that she had always been living in this particular town and she had, he didn't ask about her father. Diana said that her father passed away when she was a little bit younger, around 12, 13, by an Eden car accident. He said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She nods and said that she missed them every day. Even her mom misses as well because he was a very kind, generous man, very, very handyman as well. A handyman? He has. She knows and said that he will most the one most take care, take care of things at home if uh, something broke, maybe like a car or the family car or maybe her bike or maybe if the plumbing was an issue and it's a big issue, he always could fix that immediately. That is a very handy man, he said, with a smile. She said, yeah, I mean, he probably actually, he did work as a plumber in his younger years, but then he worked as a delivery truck man or something like that. Oh, you mean a truck man in those deliveries? Yeah, mm, that's not a bad job. Soon, Diana's mom called for there was dinner, and as they were talking their dinner, Diana was actually just a bit silenced because as she looked at, at Cody, she came to realize, that even though that he was quite handsome, she didn't expect that she would like she would like him even more than unusually more just as most of it. But after dinner, he thanked them for dinner and went home. But for the next couple of days, Diana was actually were decided to hang out with some of her friends. And she decided to hang out with her best friend, Jennifer. 
Jennifer had been aware of that Deanna had a new name. And Deanna actually had introduced Jennifer to Cody at, at some point. And she ex exact, very excited said, Wow, Deanna, I didn't know you have offered such handsome young man to me. Have you asked him out yet? Deanna was like, sugar red, was like, No, he's my neighbor. I don't even, I mean, I don't even really know him that much. Well, based on what you told me, at least the conversation you have with him, why don't you just ask him out? Deanna wasn't really sure if she, if she should even do it or not. But, she said he will think. And after a while, though, after about a few weeks, she decided why not. But as she was, when she saw him in the backyard, she saw that he was had a company of a girl around the same age as him. And she thought maybe that was his new girlfriend or something because how they were laughing together and and. She left before that he could see her. She felt a little bit heartbroken. Because at this time, Deanna realized she actually had a crush on Cody. But she doesn't even know how not to say anything. So, but based on what she saw with this young girl with Cody, she immediately believed that was Cody's new girlfriend. Since he did tell her before when he when after some time after he moved in that he used to date a girl but it didn't work out a few days later when he was seeing her at the mailbox he just say he said hi to her and says and she said hi back but when he asked her if she would like to go out sometimes she was stunned like he just suddenly asked her out like that but then she asked, what about the girl you had over for a few days ago? Her? Oh, <laughs> that's, um, that is, might be a little bit hard to explain, but, um, well, actually not that hard, but she is my cousin. Your cousin? Yeah, she is actually one of the few relatives that actually lives in this house. Oh, yeah. She actually had a very hard work schedule, so we don't usually see each other so often as we wants to. But she came over one day and we just hang out, just want to, you know, we just, you just want to see how she's been doing and, you know, update her, how the life been so far. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and... You still want to go out with me? Since you asked me? Yes, only if you want to. And Diana was acting silent for a brief moment before she said, before she said, Yeah, I would like that. So they decided to go out on that same Friday. Since Diana didn't have any work on that Friday, and since Cody also had a day off, so both decided to go to the movies. But they didn't exactly know what type of movie was going uh, was showing there right at that moment. But they said they will pick the movie when they get there. On Friday, at the movie theaters, they saw those acting the new Buzz Lightyear movie that was running. And they decided why not to see that. So they actually picked the movie and they bought some popcorns and drink. And just sat down and just enjoyed the movie. Both laughed and had a good time. And even after the movie was over, they actually talked about it. And suddenly, Cody actually heard that Deanna's stomach was growling of hunger. And he laughed. Sounds like someone is hungry. She blushed and said, yeah, she was actually. How about we go somewhere to eat? I mean, I'm buying. She smiled and said, There is a small diner around the corner they can go to. And he nods and they actually walked there. And at the diner, they actually just talked about the movie, what they thought about it. And especially at near the ending of it, especially. And 
they even actually talk about what they thought about the movie otherwise. And Cody asked Diana if she actually had a good time on the date, and Diana said that she actually had it, and she admitted in a confession that it was actually her very first date. And he was a bit surprised because he asked her if she had ever had a boyfriend, a boyfriend before, but she shook her head that she never had. Not even in school, he asked. No. How come? Well, the truth is, I was actually quite shy back in school, and I was bullied a lot. You bullied? Mm-hmm. And he asked for what reason? Well, there were a few guys and a few girls at a party once. They called me ugly, stupid, I wasn't smart enough, and I would not go any far in life, and I would never, never find the right guy to be with, and I was actually did, was asked out by a guy in school, and he said to meet me at the park around 3 p.m. on Friday after school, and I actually went there, waiting, waiting, and he never showed up. And when I went back to school on Monday, he saw me and he asked, Did you wait to park on 3 p.m.? And I nodded to said that I did. And he was like, Oh my god, you actually did? I was only kidding with you. I wouldn't even never want to go out with you. Ever. But not you're my type. And I was actually over there. That's what this thing's like. And he's like his best friend. Well, you actually won the bet. And he paid him. What a jerk, Cody said. Yeah. But did your friends even try to defend you? Of course. My best friend Jennifer told me told him that that was a stupid joke. And he said, You can never find the right girl to be with. Because if you did this to my best friend, the girls in your future will never want to be with you if they learn your true nature and personality. So me and Jennifer just walked away. Wow. What about you? Um, yeah, I were bullied myself back in middle school. Oh? Yeah, I was a little bit shorter and a little bit more chubbier and, uh, and they call me Fatso or the Fat Kid, this ugly fat kid, or they call me just, or they simply call me the Walking Barrel. The walking barrel? Uh, yeah, they quartered me to them. I was. I look like a barrel, you know, those wood barrels. Ah, I get it. Wow, that's. that's painful. Yeah. But after a while, I started. When I was getting high school, I started to exercise and training as much as possible. And I started losing weight, and uh, sure enough, some girls, they started to get to notice of me, and. Especially those girls from back in middle school, those who were even bullying me. But when they asked me out, I denied them all at once. Because I told them, if you want to date me now, you couldn't even have dated me, me as called me as. I would never date you as since you called me fatso or the fat barrel or anything like that. And that made them feel so embarrassed. But in the end, that was right for them. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if they call you that, it's only worth that they call you that, and and but you deny them, reject them in such a way, they deserve. Oh yeah, absolutely. Said Cody with a smile. After this, Cody took Diana home, and she gave him a kiss and said that she had a lovely date. And in fact, even her mom asked her how the date went, and she said it went better than expectantly, and she said maybe that she could perhaps go out with him again and again and, and see what it is. Diana's mom was actually very happy to see that it was going well with her. And she even even hoped that maybe this could lead to a long-term relationship. And in fact, after about several weeks, Diana and Cody actually made as an official couple. 
and she was really happy because not only that she has been on a few days now with Cody, but Cody was actually the very first official boyfriend. And when Jennifer found out, she was very excited about that. Especially what she knew what she went through when she was younger. And when she told Jennifer what Cody went through the same thing, she was really shocked. But at least happy that, that Cody and Diana had found someone eventually that could maybe be a long-term relationship. Even though that's when Diana's mom just jokingly, So, Cody, when are you going to marry my daughter? Cody was like, <laughs> Well, man, we had just started dating, and I was only kidding with you, Cody. I knew that. I'm not just like to just messing around with my you with my daughter and don't worry, I know, take your time. Both Cody and Diana just laughed it off and said maybe one day. And even though Cody himself just wish this could happen eventually at some point. And as the as the year went on, Diana and Cody still went on to be dating. And in fact one day when Diana was out by herself and she ran into someone from high school and it turns out that was actually one of the old boys and her name was Linda Ah, that's you, isn't it? Diana Oh, hi Linda and then she tried to try to walk away but Linda blocked her way and said Wait, I want to talk to you well, I want to talk to you. Well, just then listen. Fine, what is it? I heard you had a boyfriend. Yeah. Is he cute? Well, yeah. <laughs> I can't understand a guy like him could be in a, I don't know. He's probably ugly as you. Linda, we're no longer in high school. Can you stop using those words? I mean, act like an adult for once. Oh, try to be brave, aren't you? Well, how is the new boyfriend? I'm sure he's short, fat, like you are. But as she was doing this, what Diana didn't know, that Cody was actually in a small convenience store they were standing outside shopping for just something to drink. And when he heard this, and she saw Diana was crying, Please stop! He's not ugly, he's not stupid, and he's not fat! When he walked out and said, Diana, is something wrong? Then Linda saw, Who is this? This is Cody. Wait. This is the Cody you're dating? Ha! <laughs> As if. Well, it is true. This is my girl, so what are you doing? Stop it, or I will not be happy. And Lena still didn't even believe it, but then Cody leaned forward and gave Diana a big kiss, and then looked at Lena. Well, is this the proof enough? And I don't like that anyone treat my girlfriend this way. Please, apologize and leave her alone. And Linda was really stunned, but she said she was sorry and then just walked away. Thanks, I can stand that. She still acted like she was in high school for once all this. Well, I mean, good thing I was in the, in the right spot or at the right time, he said with a smile. Yeah, I mean, this is something I really couldn't tolerate. Yeah, same here. I just wish that he could just stop doing it. You know, I'm pretty sure that she will stop doing it now she saw you with me and all that. I hope so, said Diana with a smile, even though she still had tears in her eyes. And if I could, it was right. Ever since then, when Diana did run into the Linda in town, either by herself, or with her mom, or just with Jennifer, Linda didn't say anything else about that anymore. Because seeing 
link Diana with this young man, this very handsome young man. She was out of worldly mind to that, and she really was stunned. So she once again apologized to Diana, but this time she was serious. Even though Linda actually asked Diana if they could be, be, be friends, but. Diana wondered if this was a way for Linda to steal her boyfriend from her, but it wasn't even that because Linda told her that she was already engaged, and why would she ruin this engagement with, by stealing someone else's boyfriend? At first, Diana was a little bit hesitant, but she and, the, and Linda did start to hang out just from time to time. And eventually, they start to get become good friends. And after a while, after about almost a year of been dating, Diana was actually happy to be with someone like with Cody. But Cody had something very special planned. One day, after they on their one years and only like two weeks, only like one week before the end of one year's anniversary. He showed her at some two tickets, cruise tickets. Wait, are we going on cruise? Yep. But why? Well, what happens in one week from now? Diana was thinking, thinking, but she had no idea. Well, let's see what happened about a year ago. Oh, our anniversary. Bingo! He said with a big smile, and I decided why not to celebrate that with a cruise that's gonna last, gonna last a week. Wait, a week? What about my job? I don't know if I can even leave my job for a week. Well, don't you have any some holiday times you can actually take out? Yeah, you know, I actually do have about two weeks, so that can actually work. So Diana actually did call her boss and ask if it was possible to take one week off, and her boss was actually very supportive since Diana was always hardworking, got there in time, and always did her time, always polite to customers, always helpful, and she actually loved it. And on the that day when they went on the cruise, Diana, Diana's mom said that she would look after the house and. Hope that we have a good time, but what Diana didn't know that Cody have a special plan too for this this small trip. On their third day, just a day before their anniversary, Cody actually took with Diana to on the on the sun deck just to watch the sunset. When he actually showed her small box and asked and said. Diana, ever since we became a couple over a year ago, I know a year it feels like an eternity, maybe a short time. But during this time, I became to know you even more and more in person, and I knew you are the one I want to spend my life with. Diana, will you marry me? And Diana was stunned. She started crying of joy, and she said yes. And she couldn't even believe Cody just proposed to her. And when he got home, Diana's mom was not even aware of this big surprise when she asked how the trip went with the cruise boat. But Cody and Diana said it was actually went well. We had a lot of romantic dinners and watched the sunset. We even watched some dolphins swimming on the in the ship. And when they said. Well, we are engaged. Her mom's eyes got seriously big, saw and like saucers. Like, wait, you engaged? And Diana showed the ring. Is like, and her mom almost fainted, but was happy. Wow. But Diana was just really excited to be happy though, because this was just another dream. It's like she was still stuck in a dream. And it was a dream that she didn't want to wake up to, but she was still very happy to know this was an a real and not a dream. 
they decided to have their wedding the next some the next year around summer and it was just still like a dream for her. And as the year came and went, by the next year around spring, Cody and Diana started immediately planning for the wedding. Even though they were a few months away, but they wouldn't start hesitating to plan out in, a, in, a, in advance. With lucky blow, Diana's mom and Jennifer helped with to take care of the with the prepare, preparations for the wedding, like with the church and the food, the music, all that kinds. Even the dress and the tuxedo, all kinds of things. Cody actually had very much a good time. He was very much looking forward to have this big day with Diana. And even though he had no idea who was going to be his best man, but then he realized he actually has a very good friend as a co-worker from his, at his job that he thought since they were close and they hang out a lot. So he asked his co-worker, Mark, if he would, will, would be willing to be his best man. And Mark, he didn't hesitate to say, well dude, I am up for and, uh, and all the way. Mark said with a big smile. And of course, the day before the wedding, Mark took Cody out for this bachelor party and just had a good time. And on the big day, Diana was actually so excited, but she was so nervous at the same time. She felt like her heart was racing faster. What about Cody? She wondered. She just hoped that she doesn't that he gets her cold feet and leave her at the altar. But even though, in fact, Cody, he really has cold feet. But Mark convinced them. But not leaving her at altar is the absolute worst any man can do to his bride, at the, especially at the wedding. And both were really excited. Because when Cody stood by the altar with Mark, when he saw Diana walking up at the aisle, he felt very lucky. And Mark, like, just leaning forward and said, Dude, you really hit the jackpot for this one. I know. She is the most amazing woman I've ever had set my eyes on. She is the most amazing person to ever lived. I am so happy to have her. Well, dude, good luck. Thanks, Mark. And as soon as possible, when, he, when Diana stood by them, the ceremony started. And after the ceremony was over, they went outside where they had a small party which the rest of the families and their friends had organized. Everyone could see how happy Diana and Cody were together when they were dancing for the first time. It was just a romantic part. And especially when Diana stood there dancing with him, it felt like the whole world was just standing still, like they were the only ones there. And after that, everyone just had a good time. They welcomed Cody as part of the family, and his family did the same thing with Diana. The Later, they actually went to Hawaii. Turns out that Cody's parents' family had got enough money for him to have to spend time on the honeymoon on Hawaii, which both Diana and Cody was done. But they were happy to accept this idea and this gift. And on Hawaii, they had this amazing time. Doing sightseeing, a lot of swimming in the ocean, and even watched some local performance and all that kind of stuff. They was just happy to have entered a new chapter in their life. Even just being together for just one year, but just happy to be married with the one they loved the most of the whole world. And especially Diana, who was really happy. And after they had been married for what, three years, Diana and Cody, they 
we're talking about they want to start a family. And after about several times, they actually learned they were expecting a baby, a baby girl. And they had already thought about the name. And then the day came when the daughter was born. They named the daughter Ren. Ren was a really shy young girl when she was growing up. But it took her time to be outgoing like her mom was because Deanna told Ren when she was in at her daughter's age, she was really also very shy. And but it took time to and practice how to be outgoing. And Ren, after she was really outgoing, she had no problems to make new friends. And in fact, during her as a child, she actually loved to be working with animals. She wanted to be a veterinarian because she wanted to help other animals in need. And one day she actually started working as a veterinarian when she was old enough. And she even got married at some point and had three daughters of her own. Three years later, Diana and Cody actually had a second child, a boy which they named Skyer. Skyer was very much unlike his parents. He was very outgoing even as a young boy, and he had no hesitation to make new friends. And in fact, he was very brave for his young age. He always stood up against bullies, and hearing what his parents went through when they were at young age and had to be experienced in bullying, and he stood up for that. And in fact, he wanted to be a teacher one himself so that he could stop bullying his schools. And in fact, he later became a teacher at a local high school in town. And at some point, he even got married and had one boy and one daughter of his own. Three years later, Diana and Cody had a second daughter named May. May was a little bit shy when she was growing up, but she actually learned how to be outgoing and she loved animals like her older sister. But she loved to bake a lot more. So she wanted to be a baker when she was growing up, knowing that she may have to be going up early in the mornings to be a baker. But it didn't bite her. And one day when she was old enough, she started working at a local bakery and she loved it because she loved it so much and even at some point she actually got fell, fell in love with this young man and got married and even they had two daughters and even two sons together four years later Diana and Cody had another boy which is named Kenny Kenny he was very calm as a child, not shy, but he was very outgoing and had no problems to have friends and was very much at young age. He was very talented in playing music and in fact he played guitar and piano or a keyboard. He wanted to be a musician or at least maybe teach others about music. When he was older, he actually became a music teacher at the local high school where his older brother Skyer worked at. And in fact, he loved him. And his students loved his teaching as much as well as they loved him. And in fact, he even became married and had two boys later on in his life. Diana was really happy to have found someone like Cody in the book. Especially when she went through in her young age, when she was bullied a lot, called that she never found anyone. But when she ran into Cody the very first day when he moved in, her first thought was that he was very young, handsome, and very, very polite. And even if it took some time for them to get to know each other better when he then asked her out. And for that moment, even Cody, when he first saw her, he was like, Wow, she is very beautiful. And he didn't hesitate to regret a single day when he asked her out. Because if he hadn't even asked her out, he wouldn't have found his true soulmate. And 
he would even have this amazing family with Diana, the one he loved the most of all, because to him, she is her true soulmate, his beloved angel. And this is how Cody and Diana found a true love, got a band together, the end.